Hello and welcome back to another video. So Mountain Lion has been released today so I'm going to show you how you can create some bootable media to get it installed. So first off you're going to need something called Lion Disk Maker. I'll leave a link in the description below. You're also going to have to buy Mountain Lion from the App Store and then all you have to do is extract the uh, DMG actual file from that and you also need some sort of media to save it to, so a USB drive, a USB thumb drive, or even an SD card. So in this case, I have my uh, 16 gig SD card, the DMG file. So if we just go into here, you can see there it is. And also we've got the uh, Lion Disk Maker. So we're gonna launch this up. So which version of Mac OS X do you wish to make a boot off a disk? We want 10.8. Uh, and it says no install actually could be found. So we're going to browse to the DMG. So if we just go to the desktop and we go to the DMG, which has now found it. So from here, we're going to say create a boot disk. It's now going to ask us what we're going to be using. So I'm going to select another kind of disk and it's picked it up here. Here are the disks that you may want to use, which I do select that and click on choose this disk. And it's now going to literally erase everything off this media. So if you are using something of your own, make sure you back up anything that's on there somewhere else because it is going to blow it to pieces. Well, not literally blow it to pieces, but it's going to wipe out all the data. So we're going to click on erase and create the disk. So as you can see here, it's now creating that uh, bootable media for us. So what I'll probably do is just skip this boring bit and come to the very end. Okay then folks, you can see that that has now finished. It probably took about 15 minutes to actually do all of that. And at the very end, it had a little weird laugh, but there you go. So that is it complete. And now all you need to do is take your SD card or your USB drive, uh, restart your Mac, hold down, I think it's either the option or the command key, one of the two, and you can then boot from that device. So I just want to thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click the subscribe button just above. You can also follow me on Twitter at Matt Saunders MCP, and I'll catch you all in the next one.